Uh, welcome again. Yeah, let's dive into, uh, into it. Uh, so yeah, some, some of you who are, let's say, more keen observers might notice that the last time I said that the bumper will be removed, but as you can see, it is not. Yeah, I haven't removed it simply because all of the bolts on the other side were good to go, but this side is very problematic. The second one, this one, and the one later on at the end, both of them are very stuck. One is rounded, and this one, uh, I was able to remove it a little bit, but then it's spinning and not moving forward. So basically what we would have to do is just cut them. But as you can see, there's a tons of space in here. So, so I cannot do it. Um, and to do that, I need a small grinder, which is called Dremel. So I will just buy it and then we will proceed with uh, taking off the bumper and painting the other side. I have to take off the bumper in order to paint the other side because as you can see this is in a very difficult place to get into without taking the bumper off but the good news is that I will be able to do work on that without removing the bumper and basically as you can see some specks of rusts so I will just basically clean entire wheel arch put epoxy primer and then I will paint it I know it's not going to be perfect, but I just don't want to see all of those rusty dots and everything. So I will just take the wheel off again and we will start working on that. The wheel is off. Let's look at the rusty Alfa Romeo. Look how much crap dust and everything came out of the car uh, when I removed the trim over the wheel which is made out of some material basically I think that's one of the reasons why those cars like to rust around arches in here as you can see it's getting rusty here it's actually it's not good because all of that holds quite a lot of water quite a lot of dirt and salt whatever and yeah, what I will do, I will just take some degreaser, so I'll just try to clean it up a little bit. Let it sit for a second. Shit is going down already. <laughs> it's dirty as fuck. Looks much better. It's time for the grind. Uh, I'm glad that I washed it here and everywhere because I think it will be a little bit less dusty. So yeah, mm, and yeah, I think, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but over here, can you see the difference in like paint? Like here it's like darker and here it's like color is a little bit brighter. And I think someone has already been in here and been doing something on that. That should be good for you guys. Let's go. corrosion epoxy primer and the hardener for it so I will just mix it in the portion of 4 to 1 
got some gloves. Now it's secure. You have to bear with me or just roast me in the comments <laughs> how bad I am doing this. That's a great idea! Okay guys. So, this part of the job is finished. I put on the second coat and maybe you can see, maybe you cannot, but uh, I tried to fix all of the yeah, imperfections. There is something. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so it's much better than the previous one. Now I need to give it like 12, 10 hours to dry. So today in the evening, probably, I will be sanding it down and painting it. I'm curious because this is the first time I've actually been using this kind of epoxy primer. Because usually I was using the one in the spray cans and they are not the best quality. Usually they do not protect anything, let's say. We'll see what will come out of it. If it's going to be shitty after a year or even less after the first winter, anything it will pop up in here probably so we will see okay guys welcome back as you can see the car is kind of covered i covered the whole assembly and i sanded down everything to make it much more smooth uh, it's definitely not perfect but it should work i just have to mask the rest of the car so this is how it looks professional <laughs> paint cover you sure about that let's say uh, but yeah as I said it doesn't need to be anything special uh, yeah, so I, I sand it down first then I clean the surface thoroughly uh, that should be it of course tomorrow I will put the clear coat on but yes, yeah, so this is the result. How do they say it? From afar, uh, far from good, right? If you look from here, it's like, hmm, it's not that bad. But if you look closer, even in, the, in this poor light, or even if I put a little bit light on it, yeah, you can see imperfections here, yeah. But still, I don't know what you guys think. You can let me know in the comments. But I think this is much better than the rusty dots and everything all around so yeah as i've said better than before so uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next one petrolettes bye